Hi guys, welcome back to some Arma. As you can see, I actually did make it back to base. Our BTR is just fine. And <clears throat> the majority of the vehicles and gear and loot and all of that stuff from our previous base with uh, the crew is now gone. They have relocated. The only thing that we have left is the fuel van, which is arguably too dangerous to transport. My BTR that we're so familiar with. And I did repurchase that box van. So, today, we're going to see about getting ourselves a helicopter or something like that to uh, get us up and moving and to our new base location. I did a little bit of scouting while I was out, and I'm going to show you where I want to put our new base. Right here at the end of this airstrip. If you know where the main airfield is, it is south of that. It is right next to a Bambi spawn, which makes it a good place to spawn in. And uh, there's nobody building over here just yet. So it is a prime location for a new base. That's where we're going to be going today. Okay, so we've made it to the airport. I'm going to see about pulling out some cash and purchasing us a new vehicle. Uh, since we've got the BTR and something to haul some stuff, I'm going to be purchasing, purchasing. I'm going to be purchasing us a Taru, one of the transport helicopters. That should give us the ability to pick up quite a few things and move it around relatively easily. And we're in. So this is our brand new Taru. It's all black which is perfectly fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the BTR over here and I'm going to attach it up. Okay, so we've got the BTR over here. They are both locked. I'm going to leave it like that for a moment while I go buy some building supplies. First on the list of building supplies is I need a flag. Okay, so I have purchased a flag so we can go ahead and build our base. I think I'm going to have you guys with me as I fly around, pick up my stuff, and then drop it off at the new base. Uh, although I am going to be flying a couple of missions on my own, and I'll be back shortly thereafter. I'll show you exactly what we've picked up, and you will rejoin me as soon as we are ready to actually build the base. This is a real pretty chopper, and it does a real pretty job while it's going. It hauls like nothing else out here. There are other options for helicopters. There, I don't think. I really don't think there's anything better as far as cheap and versatile. So I could get something bigger. I could get something faster. But I'm not going to just because this is cheap. If I lose it, it only hurts a little. It was 17,000 credits or pop tabs. And that's just a little bit over picking up two vehicles and then selling them. And this thing can haul three. So if I do one good run, I've already paid it off. So it is absolutely worth it to have it. Whereas the others that are competitive in the carry capacity, those are in the 50, 60, 70,000 pop tab range making them impractical for my purposes because you've seen how I drive. I fly quite a bit better than I drive, but you get the idea. There we go. Now the BTR is home. Uh, I'm going to see about landing, picking up our brand new box van, and carrying it over to the next location. Load balancing actually is a thing that you need to keep in mind. So like the uh, BTR. The BTR is very likely a bit heavier than say the box van even if the box van is fully loaded because the BTR's got a ton of armor. So to properly load it I'm gonna put it on the middle one so that my heaviest weight is dead middle. And then the box van can be attached up here at the front because it is ever so slightly lighter. And when you do pick stuff up like this, you want to extend your cargo ropes on one, but not all of them. 
by at least two. So that should take care of us. And as soon as I get in the air, which I probably should have done it before I decided to get in the air, I'm going to go ahead and place our marker. And we are off the ground. Uh, I may decide to grab that fuel truck later. It is not a super high priority at the moment, and I would rather not carry it. Better marker that's right. I'd rather not carry it while I'm carrying other more precious cargo. Oh, between the time I scouted this and the time I got back, somebody has already claimed a portion of this. So it may be time to do a quick look on auto hover as to where I might also want to go. Maybe check that place out. It should be nearby. Uh, if it doesn't pan out, I will probably come back and just crowd this guy a bit. I'd rather not build that close to somebody I don't know, but, I mean, this is a prime location. I do want to be able to take off and land at that airport. I don't have any planes, but if I did have a plane, I would need that. And it is nice and flat. Is that someone else's base I see on top there? It is not. Or is it? There's something up here. I guess I'm going to have to land to find out. Oh boy. Hit the wrong button there and almost lost control. I see some structures, but it doesn't look like anybody's base. That may be, though. But whoever it is does not seem to have put down a flagpole. Let's grab our territory flag kit and take a quick look around. That's actually reasonably flat. Oh, and we've got a winky barrel. <laughs> no, this, this is absolutely not somebody's base. Although, it does look nice. So I think I'm going to put my base right here. I am too close to a spawn zone. That would be why that nobody has a base there. I do, however, really like that location. I'm going to see if maybe a little bit further down the hill... I can do that, although chances are I'm not. Still too close to a spawn zone. Well, these things happen. Time to take a look at the map again and see if there's anything worthwhile. I want to be reasonably close to a spawn zone, although being within a kilometer seems to be a bit too close. So that, that just barely would have worked. We'll try that, and if that doesn't work, we'll move even further out. Although that is roughly the same distance. Actually, that one. Next to the dam. Let's go ahead and attach up our stuff. Okay. 
So we should be good. Those trucks are a little bit closer than I would like. Oh, that was close. There we go. We are now officially back in the air. Oh, and somebody's got a base built at the dam. Interesting. Take another quick look. Maybe near Sirta. I don't want a named place for sure. This Areno base was nice. That is a military area. Maybe over here, near Pygros. Ooh, I don't know what that is, but I like it. And it looks to be far enough away that it will work. So the perfect base location is going to be a close distance to the terminal because that's got all of the good vendors and stuff. And it's also going to be relatively close to a Bambi spawn just in case we die. I don't plan on dying, but it happens to everyone. So... What is that? That is a player base. Looks like all of the good spots are taken. I may just set up camp over here. Well, I mean, I could look along this mountain range, see if there's anything else that strikes my fancy. Preferably something that's got a road that goes up to it. much, much too much. What about that one? I've got a feeling that's going to be too close. What kind of house is that? It's just a plain old house. They just build right there. Have something to drink? I absolutely do not have anything to drink. That's not good. I'm sure I've got something to drink in one of these vehicles. But I do need to go ahead and get on the ground soon. I have a feeling I'm going to be losing health here real soon if I don't get something to drink. This is surprisingly flat. I'm kind of happy with that. Let's find something to drink real quick. I know there's not going to be any in this truck because uh, there just didn't. Power drink. Power drink will work, and I will go ahead and fill up on food while I'm at it. Cool. Uh, just out of habit. Man, that tail was close. Oh, yeah.
yes. Okay. I can actually place a territory flag out here, and I'm totally going to do that. This is our new base area. I'm going to find a nice flat spot, and that's going to become our new home. I think I'm going to go with the good old standby of USA. Oh, forgot to put <laughs> forgot to put a territory name on there. <laughs> there we go. Oh, and I can move it around a bit. Uh, wherever it is that I place this is going to have a 15 meter radius that I can build around. Oh, dang it. I do that all the time. I did not mean to get into combat. Push the wrong button. We'll call it Juan's Cabin. Wait, free mode, what is that? It doesn't seem to do anything. But it's going right there. Oh, and I can manage it. I don't know how to manage it, but I can manage it now. <laughs> Well, it took me a good long while to get out here, and oh, it's nice it showed up on the on the ticker. Oh, I'm so excited. So we've spent a good long time trying to figure out where to put this. I'm going to go run some missions, and I'm going to pick up some stuff to get us started on our base, and I will come back and be with you as that happens. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one.